So, first look at the uh, holistic life goal as the expression of positivity and human potential in yogic tradition. Uh, it is greatly subscribed in the yogic traditions that human beings have to pursue four major objectives or goals of life. These four goals are dharma, artha, kama, moksha. Dharma is the most essential aspect or you can say the most distinguishing feature of yogic tradition or dharmic tradition. Dharma is not related to religion, it is not related to belief system, dogma, rituals or practices. Though dharmic processes may involve all these, but dharma essentially is much subtler than all of this. So, what is dharma? Dharma is defined as dhriyati lokan anen dharati loka lokam va. That means, that which supports or that holds together everyone and everything. So, dharayet iti dharma and dharayati iti dharma both are accepted interpretations of the word dharma. That means, that which upholds and that which should be upheld. In a particular situation, in a particular context, what should be upheld? That is dharma. That is why some people connect that with morality, righteousness or the uh, purpose of life etcetera and that which upholds that that means that is also related to the intrinsic subtle universal order in the world and choosing our action not to disrupt not to disrupt that harmony. Now, what is the criteria whether what I am choosing at the moment whether what is considered or what I am considering dharma of mine in a particular situation, whether it is correct or not correct. What is the criteria? So, criteria comes from the Vaisheshik Darshan which says yato bhyudayani shreyasa siddhi sa dharma, that which brings abhyudaya and that uh, which brings shreyas. So, that which brings abhyudaya and that which brings shreyas that is called dharma. What is abhyudaya? Abhyudaya is the word combined by abhi uday. Abhi means all encompassing or going beyond the individual. Uday is arising, uprising or evolution. So, that which results into collective growth and development that is abhyudaya and nishreyas that means that which brings the spiritual evolution that which brings my understanding and experience of oneness with overall existence. So, that is spirituality, that is adhyatma in the uh, Indian tradition. So, dharma is defined as something, the criteria for dharma is that which brings the collective development, abhyudaya and nishreyas, spiritual evolution, that is the dharma that is the first objective of human life. Second objective is artha. Artha means worldly wealth that is more connected to the material aspect, material possessions. Artha that on which transaction can take place, that which is related to the social recognition. So, material possession being valued by uh, human being. So, artha is the second objective. Kama is the third objective that is related to sensuous pleasure. It is also related to the psychological needs. So, sensuous pleasure, psychological needs are not being looked down upon. They are accepted as valid life goals. And last but final objective of human life as prescribed in the yogic tradition is moksha, transcending desires and attachment and moksha is defined by different traditions in different uh, language. For example, moksha according to Ashtanga yoga is more like at attaining samadhi. 
moksha in the bhakti yoga is attaining that loka, that level of consciousness to which my ishtadev, my deity belongs to. Uh, from the jnana yoga perspective, moksha is defined as realization of Brahman and basically it is a self realization of Brahman because Brahman and Atman, individual self or universal self are not distinct. That distinction what, uh, what people experience is result of their ignorance. So, when we uh, remove the veil of ignorance through the practice of jnana by pursuing true knowledge, we attain moksha. So, moksha is defined in different languages, uh, in the different pathways because there is a diversity, there is an acceptance of diversity of multiple pathways to achieve the ultimate objective of human life uh, and that is why they use different languages. In this picture, the, we have tried to explain these four aspects uh, together. So, in the background, the cycle or the, uh, the chakra you see is reflection of dharma. Dharma is, the, is reflection of the cyclicity of the nature. Dharma is reflected in the uh, governing principles. It is reflected in the universal harmony which is must for life to sustain. So, that is the background and in that background and that being the guide we can pursue artha and kama. So, the, uh, the other two pictures are related to those, but the final objective is to transcending all that. Final objective is to be free from all this, uh, all these pursuances. So, that is the fourth uh, objective. These are together called chaturvarg. If we look at the most of the economic thinking, they recognize the earth and calm. So, they recognize the dvivarg and that is what distinguishes uh, a typical materialistic uh, economic thinking and yogic perspective because yogic perspective also brings two other aspects uh, dharma and moksha. Dharma is matter of realization that is why it cannot be equated with ethics. However, it is not opposite of ethics ethics is the codification of dharma. However, any kind of code cannot be relevant for all the people all the time in all the situations. So, it is important to have that dhruti, to have that sense, to have that perceptibility to decipher or to identify what is the dharma in a particular stage of life, in particular context in particular situation and to get that understanding we need to purify our mind and purification of mind is the process of yoga sadhana. Purification is the necessary condition for the self realization. This also reflects that the basic assumption of the Indian psychology and yogic tradition is that human being inherently are divine but their divinity is overshadowed, the light of their divinity is overshadowed by ignorance and that ignorance is nothing but recognizing human life, individual life separate from the collective life or separate from the universal life. That is the ultimate uh, expression or ultimate manifestation of ignorance. To remove the ignorance, we need practice and that practice is called sadhana. So, these four supreme and link up the realm of desires with the perspective of the eternal and bind together the kingdom of earth and heaven. These are the beautiful words written by uh, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan to explain and to explicate the nature of these four objectives. There is a short video of which uh, the link is given of Satya Nadella. And in the conversation in this video, Satyana Nadella says that family life, taking care of society, taking care of your people, taking care of your organization, taking care of the personal well-being, all these are equally important goals. So, it is not the matter of uh, balancing, it is a matter of harmonizing all these. Uh, you can watch that video, which is in a way reflection of the 
uh, all four objectives as explained in the yogic tradition. You also have the link of uh, uh, dharmaviki.org uh, and this is a repository of uh, explanation and elaboration of many yogic concepts uh, we are we have used till now and we will be using uh, in the upcoming sessions. So, this is about the holistic life goals uh, meaning and purpose as we understand in the current times. 